Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. In this video, I'm reviewing three book collections from a company called Baby Lit. The first set of books I'll be talking about is Classic Baby Lit. These are a collection of primers from classic literature that teach basic things like counting, flowers, opposites, and basic vocabulary. The illustrations are fun, the books are whimsical and a joy to read. And I found these set at, I think the first one I found at Costco. We've since added to our Baby Lit library. They're simple books, they're fast reads. There's only a word or two or maybe a small quote on each page. So they're quick to go through. Our daughter loves the Frankenstein book, which is body parts. We have our Sherlock Holmes book, which is sounds. We have Dracula, which I don't think I have in my lap here, no. But again, that's a counting book. We do, however, have, I believe I have Jan Eyre in my lap here. So this is another counting book. This is Jane Eyre, I'll have you tad bit look in here. So you have three candles and four towers and stuff like that. Um, we also, let's see, we have the Wizard of Oz here. This goes over colors. Again, I'll open the book here. Whimsical, you have blue and you have the different names of the characters. And you have black here. And then probably one of my more confusing books, The Midsummer's Night's Dream. This goes over uh, different fairies and it does quote Shakespeare. So slight warning on this one. It can be a little confusing and hard to read if you're not used to Shakespeare. So again, I'll open this book here. You have the different cobweb and the different illustrations here. Okay, so that is Baby Lit. Now I'm gonna move on to actually the Spanish collection. So that's Little Libros. These books are a combination of primers and short cultural books in English and Spanish. My husband speaks basic Spanish, so we're trying to teach our daughter some basic and Spanish and help her be bilingual. We live in the American Southwest, so Spanish is a good place to start. And he speaks better Spanish than I do Romanian, which is the language that I kind of speak. Spent two years in Romania. My husband did spend some time in uh, not Spain, but uh, central Mexico. So though yeah, I think he actually did spend some time in Spain in law school, but again, he speaks some basic Spanish. So we enjoy the Little Libros books. I have a couple here. We have Loteria, has basic illustrations again, just the one word in English, one word in Spanish. So um, we also have the uh, Frida Kahlo book, which is counting. We've actually memorized this book as by this time. There's also a few cultural education books that go over different countries that had longer explanations. I believe uh, off the top of my head, we have one for Havana, um, one for Lima in Peru. Uh, I think we have San Salvador and I recently for Easter, so I haven't given this book tour is, uh, I'm not gonna pr pronounce it correctly, it's a city in Mexico. So, and that is something else to mention. These books do seem to lean toward Mexican or North American Spanish or Central American Spanish as opposed to what I might call traditional Spain Spanish or formal Spanish. So that's the Little Libros books. We will certainly be adding to our collection. We have quite a few more um, to do. So that is that. The next collection I'm going to talk about is one that I had no idea was connected to this series whatsoever. And we only have one of the books and it's called All Aboard. It has a different various different travel books. The one that we actually have is the National Park. So visiting the National Parks is big on our list when our kids get a little bit older. So it goes through just various different parts of the National Parks. I think I looked up and they have some ones on different countries. So that's a great book to read. We, I've yet to fully explore the Baby Lit collection. In fact, I did not know that all of these books were connected until I went to do a review for just the basic primers of the baby lit. So we have quite a bit more to explore. I enjoy these books. They're simple reads, they're fun reads. I like the illustrations. I did forget to mention earlier, along with our regular baby lit, we also have, there's a three book collection with Edgar. This is Edgar Allan Poe. So this is Edgar Gets Ready for Bed, uh, which is fun. You hear a lot of refrains from Edgar. The other one is the Tattletale Heart, and I can't remember the name of that one. It's actually in her Easter basket, which is back there behind me. But they're great books. I love the character. We actually do have a stuffed toy raven 
So we wrote those quite a bit. They're a little bit more storybook-like than some of our other baby lit books. So we'll definitely be adding more to this collection. We like the baby lit. I definitely would recommend them. They're fun. They're different. They're short reads. So they're good for vocabulary stuff. And if you're teaching your kid English and Spanish, they're a great way to go when you're looking at the little Libros books, particularly the cultural books, which have a little bit longer explanations and some great illustrations. So that's all for this review. As I said, I will and I will link some of the authors in the description. Their website's a little wonky. It's not the best. It doesn't really show anything. In fact, I had to look up our Edgar books directly because I know they're from this collection because it says baby lit in the corner. So, um, but I will link some of the books in the in the description as well as some of the authors so you can find some of these books. If you like what you see, want to see more of my reviews or more of my stuff, like and subscribe. Thank you.